I think there's definitely more confidence. I definitely have more confidence as a blue belt. As a white belt, I, for me, I, I, I don't know if maybe it's an age thing or personality thing. I've never gone into competitions thinking I need to dominate and I need to win. And, you know, that's some people's game. For me, that's not my game. Yeah. I go to basically test my skill and I go to have fun. And I go to, well, luckily, I'm in the age bracket where I'm not going to get killed, you know. So for me, it's, it's, it's been an enjoyable experience, more so as a blue belt. Mm. And also because the bracket is so small that you, you end up running the same people at, at various competitions like, hey, you know. And there's a lot more, I feel like there's a lot more sort of camaraderie and a lot more respect in that aspect. Um, but overall, I think I've always had a good time. Um, I, you know this, I used to lose every single time, but I kept on competing. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's just like, I, I do it more so just for testing my skill and I, it's, it's fun for me. Yeah, I mean, we're in the same boat there. Like I just went there to see improvement, but unfortunately I just got molly whopped just about the entire time. Yeah. Um, honestly, I thought, personally, I thought that competing at blue belt would be a significant mm -hmm. improvement over competing at a white belt. Mm -hmm. But the worst beating I have ever taken was actually in the uh, as a blue belt. It was the last competition I entered. And um, yeah, that was, it was crazy. Like, uh, it, you know, again, guys, 30, 30 up, 30 and up. We had one guy who was 60 like probably close to 60 years old. He was also a black belt in judo. Oh, yeah. And dude, it it was worse than the white belt brackets that I had, uh, white yeah. belt competitions I entered. I was the first yeah, match. That, yeah. yeah. I, I could see that. I could see that happening. It's it's a lot, especially, you know, what's the saying? It's like, yeah, you know, be afraid of the old man in a young man's game or something like that. Something like that. So yeah. it's like, yeah, it's like, you know, these are older guys, they're seasoned. They're not, they're conserving the energy, you know, they're well, thinking we see, tactically. That's what they weren't doing. They were, mm. they were, they were more white belting than the white belts were. Like yeah. the spazziness was, it's a little shocking. It's possible that that's like their first competition or something. Cause yeah, that, <laughs> that would definitely, yeah. First competition is the worst. For all but one of the guys in, in our bracket, except for myself, uh, it, I'm pretty sure it was their first comp. Um, yeah. the old judo black belt like did a immaculate shoulder throw on somebody on his opponent yeah. but threw them into the the judges table like it, it cleared off everything i actually caught a monitor <laughs> was falling off it was, <laughs> it was great but uh yeah like he's like does his judo throw and he's like all right i'm out <laughs> you know, legit that's what he did like he uh he um you know we were at grappling industries which was around robin of course Mm -hmm. He did his first two matches and then rolled out. Like he, so he didn't, he didn't finish or no. His first, uh, his first match, he got the shoulder throw into the table and then he lost on the ground. His second mm -hmm. match, he tried to do a drop scene argue, mm -hmm. and uh, something happened. But his opponent ended up taking his back on it, and then after that, he, so you think he he left because he lost his matches, or he left because he just felt defeated? Probably a little bit of both. Like when, mm -hmm. when after the second time he lost, I, there was something in his in his eyes that changed. Like his yeah. expression, like melted a little bit. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I think like, that's also it's like that's why you don't go into it with any expectations, you know. Mm -mm. No, I, I mean, also you're training for, you know, also you're training for this like semi or, or professionally. Mm -hmm. then yeah there, there's a lot more at stake but if you're just doing it amateur level uh to me it's just it's not that serious just you know yeah. have fun no like uh somebody was asking me like why do you uh, back then uh prior to COVID, and they were like why do you keep competing if you don't win very much mm -hmm. and i said well i have nothing to prove in that regard like yeah you know been there done that you know, I've, I've got other things that are more important. I'm just here to have fun and hang out with the, yeah. 
hang out with the fellas, so to speak. So, but on that note, the reason why that was the worst, my worst competition experience was not because of the, the judo black, uh, black belt, but there was another guy in there who was like just stacked. He just mm. turned 30. He was a D1 wrestler. Oh, yeah. So that was probably the scariest, the closest thing I can come to describing as a scary role. Like I mm. butterfly swept this guy so many times that if he would have hit, hit the mat on his back and I controlled him for three seconds, I would have beaten him hand over fist. The thing was, mm. he was so good on the ground that when I hit him with the He's like so push, conditioned to, to like get back up. Right. He'd hit the ground, yeah. hit, hit the mat, pop back up, and he would spear me like a WWF style, like Goldberg style or whatever. And he kept hitting my right knee. Mm. So after like the third or fourth time, my knee just said no. Yeah. <laughs> so it took me like two or three weeks to recover from that. Yeah. And like afterwards, he was like, so good match. <laughs> yeah about that yeah luckily so, so far i haven't had any like scary roles and, but yeah it's it can be scary out there mm -hmm. 